Uh, so, Bart Verhagen, tell us who you are and what you do. Uh, yeah, hello, thanks for having me here. Um, currently, I'm teaching at Amsterdam University College. And before this, I was working as a project scientist. And as part of that, I undertook a, a survey amongst climate scientists. Okay. And it sounds like your survey is the one that was uh, uh, referenced the other night on the Bill Maher program by uh, uh, Rick Santorum, Senator Rick Santorum. Uh, and he may have misused it. Can you just give us a... a uh, rundown on that. Yeah, I think it was indeed my survey that he referenced. Uh, his numbers came from an anonymous blogger who reanalyzed some numbers and came to some quite different conclusions than we did. We concluded that the level of consensus is somewhere between 79 and 97 percent, depending on whether you take the whole group or whether you zoom into those with more expertise. Okay, so in a, in a sentence or two, um, was this a statement made the other night on TV a, an accurate assessment of your study, or was it some kind of a distortion or misuse? It was a false statement, uh, because actually the number that he could have cited would be that on that one specific question, all our respondents, only 12% would disagree with a dominant human contribution to climate change. Rick Santorum said that percentage was in excess of 50%, which is absolutely false and doesn't correspond to our findings. We also surveyed a lot of scientists studying all kinds of aspects of climate change. So our sample may be different than many of the other studies. What we did find is the more expertise respondents had, the more they agreed with the human dominance of global warming. 